I think one of the most important things when you get on Twitter for me has been to work out uh, how much of time to invest in it, what I want to share in it, uh, and be very focused in how I use it. Because in an age when everything is, is available and there's so much of information, I think you could get distracted quite easily. I think for some people, they may want to think about personal and professional accounts for Twitter and, and the boundaries they want. Um, you know, for myself, um, we have a, a, a sort of organization account on Twitter as well as a personal one for myself. And I think that for me, uh, creates a good balance in terms of what I want to share on each one. Um, and the personal one really allows me to network more in a personal capacity, to share things, ideas, messages. Um, and the professional one will share more around the topics of our work. Um, and I think that's a comfortable boundary. But I think anyone getting into Twitter needs to look at it as a global conversation place. And you've got to be very conscious of your brand, your reputation, because really, um, you've got to, once you begin to participate, if you have a very inactive account, that actually probably will do more damage. I think it's one of these big things where today you can't afford not to pay attention to your customers. So it's a sort of global space where everyone's listening. But I think it's invaluable because it gives you an opportunity to interact with your customers, uh, with colleagues, with friends and you know, useful networks. It allows you to discover new things you know, new information, new guidance, new reports, uh, allows you to participate in uh, remote events. The number of conferences I've attended remotely now because of Twitter, because someone's been talking about it, um, that's been invaluable really. And it's a global network and I think that's really quite powerful for your business today. I'm Sangeet Buller, founder and executive director of Wise Kids.